Hi everyone, welcome back to Lolin's Little Wonders. Today I have got a makeup tutorial collab for you um, with Claire from The Love of All Things Beauty. Um, you can, I'll leave all her links below. She has done a lovely, very smoky eye autumn look for you where it's here you can learn to recreate this look which is a rose, a rose gold bronzy eye with a very dark berry lip. Um, yeah, so here's the tutorial. Okay, so for this look, you're going to want to make sure that you've cleansed, toned, and moisturised your face thoroughly beforehand. For me, I use the Ultra Bland Facial Cleanser, the Tea Tree uh, Water Toner Water, both from Lush, and I follow up with the Simple Spotless Skin Spotless Skin Anti Blemish Moisturiser. I find this trio works really well and keeps all my blemishes at bay, which is perfect. I love it. Okay, so let's get on to the base of this look. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to prime your skin with a good primer first of all. At the moment I am using MAC Prep and Prime. So for this I just literally take a blob, ooh, that come out real quick, and I literally just stab some on my face. I'm just going to want to blend this. Rub this in with your fingers, making sure you've got all your skin covered. Okay, so next you're going to want to pick a foundation. Um, for me, my ultimate choice all the time is my Estee Lauder Double Wear. I find this gives me a really good high coverage, um, as well as that flawless look. So I just take a bit of this on the back of my hand. And then I use my Isoeva 102 Silk Finish um, brush. And I basically get buff that into the skin. Okay, for this look, you're going to want a kind of like goldeny kind of goldeny like illuminating like fresh look feel so concealer wise and um, to cover up like any under eye circles um i would suggest using the rimmel wake me up it's an illuminating concealer and it's really good for brightening so for this this one's going to run out so i'm gonna just place this under my eyes um just round corner of my nose and then using my oh where is it so we have a concealer buffer and then once again just gonna buff that in and then after that you are gonna want to set that all in place um, for me I use the Rimmel stay matte um, in transparent um, I use the um, Real Techniques powder brush to buff this in so. you want to concentrate on your um, oilier zones first of all um, but you find that your makeup can tend to slip off first of all so for me this is my T zone as well as around my mouth I then just give my cheeks a light to dust in with that. And there we go, that is your base of your look done. Okay, next up is the main bit for this look and that is the eyes. Um, we are gonna go in for like a bronzy, rose, goldy kind of look today. So um, I've decided to do this before I do the contouring of my face just in case I get any drop down products so it makes it a bit easier to tidy up. First up I'm just going to prep my eyes and to do that at the moment I am loving using my MAC Paint Pot in Utterly Becoming. This is just a really really um, 
good base it's kind of like a very neutral skin tone color that I find works really well for me so I just basically use my finger and dab that across the whole of my eye Okay, so next up you're going to be wanting to create a base for this and like I said I'm going for a rose goldy finish um, kind of look. Okay so I don't know what happened to this bit of footage but using the Rimmel uh, waterproof uh, caked eyeliner stick in rose gold um, put this all across your eyelids avoiding the crease. Okay, so next up I'm going to take MAC's bronze from my MAC palette. Oh, we have lost everything. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Zoeva um, 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. This brush is so good and so good for working in the crease. So I'm just going to take quite a lot of the bronze. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to work this into the outer corner. Along here. Okay, so once they're quite even, next up you're going to want to take a goldy kind of tone base eyeshadow. Okay, so once they're quite even, next up you're going to want to take a goldy kind of tone base eyeshadow. For me, I am going to be using the NARS um, Dual Intensity Shadow in Himalaya. Or this, no. Himalaya. Himalaya. Um, it's a very thick rose goldy kind of base for it. I'm going to be using my um, Real Techniques um, base eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be working this just up into the crease. This eyeshadow is really good because you can use it wet or dry. Um, if you're going to use it wet, I recommend getting a brush that works well wet as well. NARS do have a brush that goes with this eyeshadow, which works tremendously. But I'm using it dry, so this is why I'm using this brush. So I'm just going to basically puff this up to here in the inner corner of my. Once again, you're going to want to take your trusty fluffy brush and just basically give that a tiny bit of a blend in just so all the colours blend together through your crease. You will then see obviously that because of that you've then kind of got a light to dark kind of shade going across. You will notice as well that the rose gold in the middle will tend to fade away so what I tend to do is I do go back over it a tiny little bit just to build it up a little bit more so you've still got that rose gold base. Okay also for this look you are going to want to do um, a little bit of shadow on the bottom so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Max Bronze and I'm going to run that underneath my waterline on the outside just halfway along. I'm then going to take Max Honey Lust and use that on the inner part of my waterline. Okay, so that is pretty much your eyeshadow done. Next up, you are going to want to line those eyes. Um, at the moment, I have been using the uh, Collection Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Liner in black. This eyeliner is really good felt tip. Um, it's an extremely thin nib, which is great for drawing um, winged and cat eyeliner. This look, we're going to be wanting to keep it quite simple but quite heavily lined. So you're going to want to lay the brush flat when you go across.
Okay, another bit of missing footage. <laughs> Um, I'm using the Rimmel Wonderful Mascara with Argan Oil and just coating my top lashes and lower lashes nice, big and thick. You want a lot of mascara for this look. Okay, and there is the eyes all done. Okay, now that your eyes are done, you can now go back and finish the rest of your face. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of um, contouring with it not anything too crazy as I said this looks all about the eyes and the lips so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna take my um, body shop honey bronzing powder in the shade medium matte I am then gonna take my Zaviva face shape brush basically I am just gonna I can see in the mirror put some along this along my jawline I'm then going to go in with my Trusty Wheel Techniques powder brush and basically put some under the chin to get rid of that double chin look that I love to have. I'm also going to lightly dust some of the blending powder across my forehead. Okay, I'm also going to basically take um, this kind of dark peachy colour in my um, Makeup Revolution Sugar and Spice Blush Palette. This is really good just for adding a bit more definition and contour. Once again, I'm just going to run that across the cheekbones. Basically, the trick of contouring is don't be afraid to be a bit rough handed with your. So now that that's on, I am going to add a tiny bit of uh, illuminator. I'm using a liquid illuminator which is the NARS um, Orgasm and using my uh, Zaviva concealer brush I am basically going to run a little bit of this down my nose, across the top of my cheekbones. and just up from my temple and then I'm going to buff this all in so I don't okay. finally I'm just going to add on a little bit of blusher um, I'm using my, once again, my um, Makeup Revolution Ooh, Ultra Blush Palette in Sugar and Spice. I wish they had names on them, but I'm going to use this kind of like peachy toned one. With these, they're so pigmented that a little bit really goes a long way. So I'm just going to put this on the apple of my cheek. I am going to shape and define my eyebrows using the Barry M Brow Kit. This brow kit is one of the best brow kits I've actually ever used. Um, Barry M I've only ever really used their nail varnishes so I'm quite impressed with this. Now I'm not going to tell you how to do your eyebrows because everyone has their own tricks of doing their own eyebrows. This is just how I do it. I use the Zoeva Wing 317 Wing Liner Brush to do mine. Now we have your face. Okay, and the final piece of the look is the lips. So for the lips, we are going for a very dark berry matte finish on the lips. So this, um, not gone for anything high end this time, as I know a lot of people, even though high end lipsticks are the best, I know a lot of people complain that they can't find dupes. So I find the best way of recreating like the Charlotte Tilbury kind of matte look. It's I've been using the Berry M lip liner. These, I think this is in the shade 11. And I want to say it's called Mulberry, but I could be really, really, really wrong. 
So I'm just going to align my lips. I feel like I should be in a horror film right now. I am then going to take the Makeup Revolution Super Wow Lip Crayon in this is the shade Maria. And it's from their I Heart makeup range. Um, I am just going to add this on in the middle. This lip crayon is really, really good. It's really, really matte and stays on really well. It's one of my top picks over the autumn. And there we have it. That is the final autumn look in collab with Claire. Um, so, yeah. And there we have it. That is the full tutorial on this look. I really hope you enjoyed it and have maybe got some ideas for sprucing up your autumn kind of look. Um, yeah, so make sure you now go check out Claire's video, or if you've come from Claire's video, thanks for watching, and please do subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. Um, weekly vlog is already up um, for you all to see, um, so go check that out from my Vlogtober. And yeah, so until next time, bye!